một cách nữa để chọn bơ Hello everyone. So this week we are filming a few more episodes for our cooking show on VTV7, which is the Seven Minutes for Breakfast. And you are watching the behind the scenes here. I'm having some makeup. This is Yung, my makeup artist. I only have her when I have cooking shows. For normal shows on YouTube, I will do my, the makeup myself. Okay, let me walk you uh, through the set we have here. So this is my actually my office, and today is my makeup room. This is the rack of uh, some tops that uh, I hang here, so the director can choose which one is more suitable for whatever set that she likes and then the studio is in another room. Ta-da! Welcome to my kitchen studio. This is probably the first time that I invite you to my studio. So uh, let me introduce the crews here. This is Miss Lee, the director of this program, and Mr. Yung is her assistant. Mr. Wen here is the cameraman, and then Mr. Ring is the director of photography come cameraman. This is Anne, my kitchen assistant. She's helping me out uh, peeling some garlic and prepare the ingredients. And she also helps out cleaning the stuff um, during the cooking. For certain steps that can be done off cam, then she will help with that. We have a couple of monitors here so the director can see exactly what the cameras are capturing. So for today's set, we have two cameras. One is for capturing the whole kitchen on the wide angle and the other one is capturing my face, basically. This room is particularly hot, especially in the morning because it's facing east and then the front is covered in glass. So when we start rolling, we have to close all the windows and turn off the fan because we want to have a complete silence. So it's really hot, especially with so many people in the room and then all the lights are on and the stove is on also. Unfortunately, the aircon is not working today, so we had to prepare a foam box full of ice to uh, bring down the temperature of the room and also it's a good way to chill the drinks. <laughs> Ta-da! So this is where I stand at the host. I have some fruits and vegetables and some pickles and knives set there as decor. Today I'm gonna make puffy sticky rice cakes with grilled mushrooms. It's a vegetarian recipe, very quick and easy for breakfast. The show is gonna be aired on Vietnam television, so of course it's gonna be in Vietnamese. So the shooting is about to begin and while waiting for the guys to finish the setup, let me go through the ingredients and how to make this dish in English. Okay, so today I will make a very simple dish with mushrooms and uh, soaking foam, which is thick, puppy sticky rice. So this is uh, king oyster mushrooms. It's called Nam Đu Ya in Vietnamese. Choose the one that the cap is still in shape and uh, the body is nice and firm and white. There's no spot or anything. I have some lemongrass, uh, garlic, cilantro, and soy sauce. That's it, so easy, right? So first of all, we cut the oyster mushrooms into slices, and then we're gonna make the sauce for the marinade. Fry some minced garlic and, sh and, and lemongrass until really fragrant, and then add some soy sauce and sugar to balance it out, and turn the heat to low and simmer for like uh, one minute or so until the salt is slightly thickened and then you got to put all the oyster mushroom slices into the marinade and marinate for about um, 15 minutes or so. Meanwhile we will cut the sticky rice. Um, this is uh, frozen sticky rice that I buy at the supermarket. It's called So Jing Fong. It's very quick and easy that people can keep in the freezer for breakfast. But I also have a recipe uh, to make this at home. If you want, you can check it out. It's on my channel. 
So you cut it into about uh, half a centimeter thick and then fry uh, with a lot of oil until it's uh, puffy, right? Then grill the oyster mushroom uh, on a pan so it has some nice uh, grilling mark when it's nicely grilled. That's it. It's very simple. You can just dip the a sticky rice into the sauce and eat with the mushrooms as a preference. Or I have another idea to um, present this dish, which is to make it into like a burger, where you have two pieces of uh, sticky rice, uh, which look like the two half of the bun, and then you're gonna put the mushroom into the middle at the filling, and then you're gonna have a really cute burger, Vietnamese style. Vegan. So we started today at around 7 and then it's only until 11 that we actually started shooting and it uh, takes uh, two and a half hours <laughs> to make a seven minute <laughs> episode. Okay, so we finished the first episode and have the lunch break and now I'm coming back, I've changed for the second episode of today and Jung is still doing some touch up for my makeup. And this afternoon we're gonna make um, some special breakfast with uh, toast, avocado mash and some grilled shrimp. It's not a Vietnamese dish but I will put some um, Vietnamese ingredients like satay and some fish sauce to give it a Vietnamese touch. So stay tuned. Okay, so this is uh, our overhead shot. We have a Hero 5 here and two arms and uh, this is what how it's gonna appear everything is nice first of all you're gonna peel and obey the shrimps and then season with the uh, minced garlic and the uh, satay sauce and some salt pepper and maybe some fish sauce to give it a really nice tip for avocado we like to use the one with shiny green uh, skin and it has like little yellow dots so it's gonna be like really creamy and make sure that the avocado is nicely ripened so it's easier to mash and you also need um, one tomato I like to use the one that is not too ripe so when you dice it it's not gonna be like really wet and make the bread soggy so if you like, you can use green tomatoes. It's gonna add some sourness to the toast. It's also nice. So just dice it up and season with some salt, pepper, and a little bit of olive oil. Then the avocado, just cut it open. Take out the flesh and mash it well. Let's put in some lime juice so it doesn't brown too quickly. And then mix with some olive oil and set aside. Grill the shrimps. So it's got really fragrant to assemble. You just take the piece of toast, spread some avocado mash on top, some tomatoes, the grilled shrimp on top. That's it. So simple, right? That's it for today. I hope you enjoyed today's video and understand a little bit more about how cooking shows are actually made. Of course, every show and every production team are working differently but then you know uh, you have a roughly idea it's supposed to be a seven minutes show sometimes it takes us really seven hours <laughs> to shoot including the setting and everything if you are interested in watching the show i will put the links in the description box below and also at the end of the video thank you for watching bye bye